Please be seated. <clears throat> Last uh, Monday, I had a great joy. I I have kept uh, your letters that uh, you sent me last year. It's amazing that you wrote your letters in January 2020 and I read them in, in May, in September 2021. And so it had been uh, one year and a half. It, and your letters are like pictures of somebody. It, it, and I think it makes sense for me to, to, remind, to remind you what you wrote. Because, dear parents, you know that uh, your uh, child, your uh, son, and your, and your daughter, they have. To, to write a letter to the bishop asking to receive the sacrament of confirmation. Of course, they are great boys and girls, but uh, when they were baptized, they did not choose to be baptized. You chose for them, but now they have to choose to, be, to receive the sacrament of confirmation, and they have to tell the bishop why they want to receive it. And among, I would not say who wrote that, but among the letters, I, I read somebody who said, I grew up in a Catholic family, and we go to church to listen uh, the teaching of, uh, of the Bible. And so they come to, to the church and they, they discover the meaning of the gospel. My father has been a great, a good model for me. And also all my family has been confirmed and I want to be like them. It would be nice uh, among you who has been confirmed, please stand those who have received the sacrament of confirmation. Please stand. Those who are already confirmed, please stand. Father John is confirmed. I am pleased to see that. And Father Michael too. Thanks be to God. And so you see, dear young people, that many, many people... Okay, you can sit now. Thank you for that. So you see there are many people who have received the, the sacrament of confirmation. And they say also more than the, the family that they grew up, in, in which they grew up, they have also personal reasons. They enjoy, many of them said, I enjoy the preparation. Thank you to the people who helped them for the preparation. I have been well prepared through all classes and faith sharing in small groups. And so it was a good occasion to share with other teenagers uh, their faith. And it was fun to see everyone's opinion on things and on God. And we did God's image of me. So it was a lot of activities that help them to discover themselves and to discover the presence of God in their life. And they say also, they said also, confirmation is a new step in my journey. I want, uh, it's not the end. And I was pleased to, to, to read that. Confirmation is not the end of my faith life, but only the beginning. And so it's a new step and I hope that they will, they will <clears throat> go on in this process. I make this decision of my own. And I am old enough and wise enough to make my own decision. Good. Thank you for these wise people. And I want to confirm my love for God and follow his teaching. And I feel better with my relationship with God. And I want to, to follow in Jesus' footsteps. I want to receive the Holy Spirit and His gifts. And I will become a more active member of the church. And also, they spoke about the responsibilities that they have. They had before, uh, in the preparation, they have to take care of somebody. And I, I, they said, I have been working in the Lord's Kitchen. You see that it's a long time ago because it's not <laughs> very open in in this season, but they, they worked on that. Preparing food and pack, packing of stencils. Somebody works at St. Mary's Gardens, uh, and also a uh, nursing home, and uh, the Knights of Columbus, also to help the, uh, the, the Knights of Columbus, and also to help the young people to skate. We'll come, not, don't worry, we will have snow soon, and we will have to skate. And also somebody else work on the decoration of the church, uh, also help uh, as an ser uh, altar server. So it's very good to see many fields that they were involved in. And at the end, somebody said, I want to receive the confirmation because I want to get married in the Catholic Church. It's not tonight, don't worry. Wait, wait, wait a little. 
And I want to be a godfather and a godmother because this means that they are uh, impressed also by the example of the, their sponsors tonight. And so you see, they receive faith from their family. They want to be closer to Jesus. They want to be like him. And they want to share by their actions the good news of the gospel. And this is what we heard in, in the gospel tonight. We saw that Jesus has the Holy Spirit to take care of the poor. When we have the Holy Spirit, we have a light, a special light in our lives. And we have also a strength to be like Jesus. And I would like tonight to, to remind you of an amazing lady. Uh, I spoke on her yesterday, but it's always a great figure in, in humankind. Mother Teresa of Calcutta. Everybody knows her. She, she was doing a very great job in India. And you know that she was not the first human being to see other people dying on the street. Many people saw the others dying of the, on, on the street. But she was the first to stop and to say, I cannot leave these people dying like a dog. They are human beings. And she stopped and took care of them. And with her step, she began a new process in the world. And there are now a lot of uh, ladies, uh, uh, religious nuns, and also brothers who do the same thing that Mother Teresa did. And so it can be a great inspiration for us. I have never seen, I have to confess, Father John, Father Michael, that I have never seen the Holy Spirit. Nobody has seen the Holy Spirit. We receive the light of God and we see the effects of the presence of God in the lives of somebody. It's like the wind. I have, we don't see the wind. We see the, 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 the leaves who are moving, which are, which are moving. It's the same thing with the Holy Spirit. We see that somebody is transformed by the presence of God and it is, uh, is bringing something positive in the world. And I was pleased to see that in their letters, nobody said, Dear Bishop, I would like to kill the others. I no, nobody said that. They said, I want to be a better person. I want to bring something, to bring something positive in the world. And this is possible because we have the light of the Holy Spirit who shows us what is good to do and gives us the strength to do it, to make it. So it's quite easy to, to see what is good, but to, to have the courage to do that, it's another step. And I think you have already the strength of the Holy Spirit because you have been expecting your confirmation, you have been keeping your faith on, and this is a sign that the Holy Spirit is already working in you. And so tonight, it's a great occasion for you, and I hope that you will be like Samuel in the first reading, who was wondering, what can I do in my life? He asked the priest uh, Eli to help him. This is the responsibility of the parents and, and sponsors to help our uh, candidate tonight to be always and more in the presence of God. And so I will uh, give you the Holy Spirit. The bishop has this mission to, it's like uh, when you go on a website and you, you pick up a, a program and you download on your computer, it belongs to you to, to use it or not to use it. This is what I am doing. I give, I download in your soul the presence of the Holy Spirit, but it belongs to you to be aware of it, of this presence every day. And so now we're going to the second step of our celebration, which is the sacrament itself of the confirmation. And so I will go in front of the other.